Welcome back to Movie Time, the show that was nominated for Best Original TV Show. What? Well, we'd like to think so. I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, someday. Yeah. Anyway, we have a very big surprise for you. Yeah, in fact, it was, a, it was a big surprise, you know, ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the original Don West himself, Mark Goddard. <laughs> go, go for it. It sounds space yeah. enough. Come on in. It's great to have you on the show. How are you? Hi. How are you? Glad Come on in. Here. Thanks. Good to be here. Well, first off, what we're going to do with all our guests when we become rich and famous. Yes. Knock okay. on wood. He has no wood. <laughs> have no wood. Um, well, let us cheese. introduce you to Mr. Cheese. He is our yeah. rating system, and uh, he rates all our movies. If Top we like of the it. cheese, Top we like cheese. it. Bottom of the cheese, if we despise it and want it to okay. go away. That's all right. It's middle of the cheese. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> so, Jake knows Only it's a I'm not going to ask you where, uh, where Lost in Space fits there yet, I guess. Oh, don't worry. We, we'll, no, we'll no, you've you know. got to be honest with this thing. <laughs> oh, we will be. Because the reviewers weren't very kind to it. We got some good reviews. I think we got one in Canada or Alaska or something like that. You know? Really? <laughs> Just oh. one. Are you surprised we got one good review? No, no we, actually. We did uh, pretty good, actually. We got a, I think the... Uh, I'd say it's about a C rating, which is average, you know. We didn't, we didn't, it's no, not a, it's not a, crit it's not a, crit it's not a critics movie, really. Okay, uh, first question here. What have you been doing since the uh, original TV series, if you don't mind asking? Uh, let's see, we did, we, did, uh, we did Lost in Space in 1965, 66, and 67. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did three years. I think we did 84 shows. 58, 59, one minute. Power off! It's not responding. We're still at maximum acceleration. Warning, warning. Vehicle velocity now equivalent to speed of light. Velocity now increasing beyond EM radiation speed. When I finished Lost in Space, I personally felt that it was a career buster. You know what a career buster is? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of a show. You do a series like that and you're never going to get another job. Because most actors think when they finish any job, they're never going to work again. That's the, how insecure actors are. <laughs> but I think when Lost in Space uh -oh. was over, I was thinking, I was thinking, gee, uh, what am I going to do now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never work again after this show. Because I feel it was so identified as a science fiction show and it got very silly at the end and I wasn't particularly proud of it, you know? Really? So I said, well... But I, uh, I was married and had a, uh, two kids, so I, uh, I became an agent, an actor's mm -hmm. agent. Right. And uh, I represented Jimmy Brown, the football player. Mm -hmm. okay. He became an actor, and Peter Strauss, Arthur Kennedy, Frederick March. I had some good, real good actors. Mm -hmm. uh, I was an agent for a while, and then I uh, got interested in going back into acting, and I studied. I, I went to the actor's studio, and I worked with Lee Strasberg, and I started getting serious about my acting. Mm -hmm. I did, uh, I did the act with Liza Minnelli in 1978. Uh, in between that, though, I did a lot of shows. I did like, you know, in the 70s, I did like you all the did guest shots and shows. You did appearances on other shows, too. Oh, yeah. I I, oh, yeah. I, you know, I forget. I, I couldn't even name all the shows that oh, I've yeah. done. But I know, like, the movies were like <laughs> Roller Boogie <laughs> with Linda Blair. It was kind of a fun show. But I did, yeah, I did a lot of guest shots. I did, you know, stuff like I did uh, Quincy. I did ABC movies, I did Mod Squads, I did all, just, you know, so many shows. Channing, I did The Virginian, you know. But this is after Lost, in, after Lost in Space. I, you know, I just did an awful lot of shows. Uh, and then I, uh, I did a, uh, The Act with Liza Minnelli. I was on Broadway for two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the, I was in New York, I did One Life to Live. Mary Jo Slater. This is cast me in that. Now, Mary Jo Slater, I'll tell you a story about Mary Jo Slater. She cast me in this this show mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, One Life to Live, say. And I'm um, doing the show, and I used to go into her office, and she used to have this little rat, rug rat around, a kid about four or five years old. Uh -oh. He was always at my feet, and I was <laughs> kicking him away, and, I was, you know, he was a cute kid. He was, he was just a little devil. <laughs> he was a wonderful kid. And uh, anyway, cut, you know, to the future, and 20 years later, when I would 25 years later, when I was uh, I was in California, I went to see Mary Jo, because you know to say hi, and she, she wanted to get me back into acting, some other stuff. I wasn't interested too much, but I went to see her to, at MGA Studios, where mm -hmm. she was a casting director. And I walked into her office, and I saw all these uh, posters, you know, and all these movies that Christian Slater had done. 
And I'm saying, look, this Christian Slater, she must be a big fan of his or something, you know? <laughs> and it never clicked to me that that little kid was Christian Slater, and that was Mary, Jo's, Mary Jo Slater's mother is, is Mary Jo, you know? So you're and I went, when I went into her office and I saw a family <laughs> picture of them, I thought, well, yeah. You kicked Christian Slater. Now, it, now it may, yeah. And I killed Alec Baldwin when he was killed. Yeah, I meant to ask you that. I want to know if that was true, if you shot Alec yeah. Baldwin. Yeah. Thank you. Character was Paul Ryan. I was a, I was a cop. Bad cop, I think. Must have been bad. Or well, maybe Billy was bad, and I was good. But anyway, uh, Jane Badder and myself, we both fired guns from different directions, and one of us killed them. They like to do that in soap opera, so mm. you're not sure who did it. Or and if you want to get rid of one, the weekend they, find they out come back whatever. after. Right, you come know, back. They come have back like three evil twins or something. Right. So, so uh, right here. Jane Badder, she was on uh, the SS show V, science fiction television ah, show. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Recently Jane on Badder, show. Pretty girl, yeah. yeah. And uh, Alec Baldwin played a, a character, Billy, and uh, I killed him. <laughs> Sound proud. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, what What about your students? How have they felt about uh, the film? Have you gone back to teaching it since the film at all has been released? Oh well, yeah. Uh, I, in fact, I went one night with the kids. I went down to. Tom. Oh, did you really? Yeah, I took. I, I went with about six or seven of the kids. They go to movies. They can go during the week sometimes. So uh, if they're on the a, a level that allows them to see the movie, you know. Uh, we have a level system the school I work in, so they want, you know, if they're on a certain level, they can go to movies during the week. Mm, I know a school could it's, use that. <laughs> no, well, you know, it's just a uh, <laughs> little behavior <laughs> modification, you know. The kids been. are great, though, and I went with about seven, and we went down to Taunton, and I saw the movie with them. I thought that would be fun. Yeah, uh, I'm thrilled. Yeah, the, what, kid, did they the kids like are it? great, yeah. yeah. Did they yeah. like The excellent. kids at my school are terrific, yeah. Okay, how have you balanced uh, doing all the promotion with, uh, like, teaching, if you're still teaching? Well, is it really tough to be doing all yeah, this stuff? Yeah, it is. It's tough, and... Uh, I've, I've been very fortunate because uh, Diane Wilson and, and Bill Doherty, Bill Doherty is the director of the school and Diane Wilson is my supervisor there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been good about freeing me up for time. And I have a wonderful aide, I have a teacher's aide, uh, Marge Rose, who is terrific. And uh, when I take some time off, she steps right in and, and gives a kid good stuff. We set up stuff for them to do. But it's been difficult because uh, I went out for the premiere to L.A., then I went to New York for one, and then I went back to L.A., and I, I mean, just a lot of stuff's been happening. We had a, a picture in TV Guide with the cast. I had to fly out there just to have my picture taken. So that, that takes a day here and a day wow. there, you know. I was flying back and forth, and <laughs> I do shows. I was down in New Jersey this weekend doing a, uh, a show, uh, which is an autograph signing show, you know, and, and I uh, called Chilla. Chilla Theater, it's great, great show. Chilla, Chilla. it's great. <laughs> Thousands of people come. Oh, it's all ghoulish stuff, you know, and... Scream Queens, you know, the Beast, we get like that. <laughs> All these girls nice. running around half dressed, you'd love that. <laughs> oh. I won't tell Uncle Lenny, though. <laughs> but anyway, they, uh, yeah, so I come back, when I do shows, I'll fly in and out, and I'm back in the classroom, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning, so my weekends are pretty, have been pretty tied up with the promotion plus doing shows mm -hmm. and trying to get everything in, you know. Uh, you CBS has a show CBS. called Iron People. <laughs> CBS has an Iron People, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, cable show that's coming on. And they came to the school and they filmed me with the kids and everything. So that's that was nice. Sounds like a lot of fun. But uh, well, it's nice Hard being work, here but too. <laughs> it's good. That seems great. 